The topic of BC assessment and assessed value comes up a lot in real estate discussions. BC assessment itself is responsible for determining the assessed value of a property to support the local municipalities in calculating property taxes. That's the goal of it. In this process, they take into account various factors like a property size, its location, its age, and to a limited degree, the overall condition of the home from an external perspective. It typically is completed though by individuals in an office that do not drive by or even necessarily see the property. They're simply generalizing the property's value from afar and taking into account recent sales nearby. Typically that's how it's performed. It's worth noting that their assessment is based on the previous year. And this distinction is vital because the assessed value may not accurately mirror the current market value of a property typically calculated in June or July of the last summer. And then that number sits alongside that property for the next year. So does a number that was stamped on a property potentially nine, 10, 11 months ago accurately mirror what it's actually worth in real world value? Of course not. Market conditions change. Interest rates go up, interest rates go down. How much supply is there on the market? How much demand? Is it a buyer's market, a seller's market, or a balanced market? This all changes multiple times, all these factors, throughout the course of a single year. Also, the assessors do not know that a brand new $100,000 kitchen was just put in, or that the yard is literally a paradise. Some individuals will fall in love with a home and perhaps pay more than others would have. So that's why it's important to not look at just one other comparable property sale, but to look at as many as possible to get a well-rounded number and understanding of the market for a property's actual sales value. Last year, a home was sold in our market for $625,000, whereas it was assessed at over $1.4 million. Did that buyer get a steal of a deal? No. I am very familiar with this property. They actually purchased the property at market value. This property was grossly overassessed. And the assessment did not reflect uh, what the property was actually worth. And also of note, it didn't affect its value, bringing up the sales price. It didn't sell higher because it was assessed high. So that previous property owner certainly could have had grounds to argue against this assessed value being too high and have it reduced, but they did not do so. So basing the value of the property on assessed value can actually be a mistake. Assessors actually typically try to assess a property's value a little lower than market value. But of course, this does not always occur as we just discussed. They attempt to assess it a little low so that they are not flooded with complaints and assessed value disputes typically. So how can we actually determine then what a property's real world value is if we cannot rely solely on the assessed value? A full understanding of the specific property is necessary. Age, size, updates, is the kitchen renovated, landscaping, the area, is any work needed to be completed? Does it need a new roof? And then we need to look a little bit at other comparable listings. But at the same time, not take these other active listings uh, that are comparable as the be all end all in, in determining value. Because a seller can ask whatever they want for a home. It could be worth 750, but they're asking 1 million. Most importantly, we need to look at actual sales numbers. What are other comparable properties actually selling for at this point in time, not a year ago? Some home buyers will look at assessed value and say, wow, this one is listed below assessed value. It must be a deal. No, not necessarily. The assessed value can simply be high, just as we discussed. Some will say, why on earth are they trying to sell their home for 100,000 over assessed? There could be many different factors. The assessed value could be out of date, as we said. It could be 11 months old. It could be incorrect for so many different reasons. Not many homeowners will look at their home's assessed value that's actually too low and go and complain to the assessors to have it raised up higher to accurately show their home's value because this will raise their taxes, right? Some have done this, but not very many people will do it. In the COVID years, property values were rising so rapidly that of course a number stamped on a home nine or 10 months ago was out of date. We saw one home sell for 2 million during COVID that was assessed at 1 million. This again is another extreme example, but it shows that a property is worth what someone is willing to pay for it at that moment in time. And that property truly was worth $2 million at that time. It received multiple offers. It wasn't a case of someone overpaying for a property. 
at that point in time, that's what it was worth. So to summarize, assessed value is a data point to acknowledge and to reference, but it does not dictate the real world value of a property. This value is determined by many different factors. If you're interested in finding out what your property is worth, reach out to us and we can perform a CMA or a comparative market analysis to help you out with this.